right, so we have arrived this in Bullet Tower. First night here, and we're waiting because we're gonna be having dinner at 7:30 tonight. So, yeah. Off to dinner. Oh, it was, it was okay. it was Who's hungry? And, me. Uh, me. Me. Everyone's so, hungry. Very, yeah. very nice time. Fowler yes. restaurant so it's a fish restaurant here in Turkey it's quite famous and super super full like oh my gosh throughout the whole time we've been staying here I could see that my face got super big already um, we're also having our dessert now we're having baklava and then one of the famous Turkish desserts here and we're also having some fondue with fruit and some of the molten lava chocolate cake and I think this one is also a matcha version so we're just here enjoying and we're having some few drinks gin and toning Good morning guys, we're now in Istanbul. It's our first morning here. We are here at Shad Dabi restaurant. So it's actually a steak restaurant. I heard that they have really really good breakfast here. So we're gonna be having breakfast first before we go around. So we're having bore. Bore. So this one is bread with cheese. Famous signature Turkish type of breakfast. Imported yes. from Swiss, from France. It's still in the European side of Istanbul, so it's a seafood restaurant once again. And we just ordered some fish from the fresh selection outside. And then we also ordered some appetizers here. So after dinner, we're so hungry, but we're so excited to eat. We are having first cold appetizers, which we're having now. Eight types of cold appetizers, and we're going to be off to the hot appetizers, and then our main course, and then off to the dessert. And then I'm having also fresh pomegranate juice. So all are locally produced here in Turkey, and it's very, very sweet. Mm. Cornbread. Let's try the oven baked baklava first. Ah. Yeah, yeah, the multivitamin with zinc. Mm -hmm. Multivitamin. Mm. That's all what it's from Indian. She also gives it. Mm. So usually they 
serve cornbread and then they also gave us some olives, cheese, as well as some olives and balsamic vinegar. dessert and we're having tat mer and tat ler kabak. So <laughs> oven baked baklava and then they put ice cream in the middle. And another one is pumpkin with sesame dressing and some um, nuts. So we're now here at Zeno. So it's an Anatolian type of cuisine. So we're gonna be having breakfast now and they're serving us Anatolian cuisine. So we're so excited to try different types of cuisines here in Turkey. on the east side of Turkey so it's good that we're experiencing different types of local cuisines here while enjoying the whole Turkish and Istanbul vibe. on our way to buy some fur coats then I think today also we're gonna be going to the Grand Bazaar yeah it's raining today it's colder than expected but the weather during this time that we are here isn't so bad as how um, we expect it to be except we expect it to be colder $125,000. If you drop on the jacket something, just sponge hair shampoo. Okay, We just had dinner and now we're just having some sisha. So we got some apple flavor and it's my first time trying sisha here in Turkey. So we're here by the Bosphorus area and we're at Mandarin Oriental. So for our last day, last morning here, we're going to be eating a doner kebab near the Grand Bazaar here in Istanbul. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to be having Turkish, our normal Turkish breakfast. So it's good also to experience something new again. So it's one of the local and very authentic doner kebabs here. We're 
the area where um, it's local people are coming here. So it's really the non-touristic area of the Grand Bazaar. So here we're going to be having the Donor Kebab. Having yogurt. I like. <laughs> and we're also having some kebabs. Good. some Turkish set for myself. I want one for my office because I really enjoyed the Turkish tea here. So I'm just choosing which cup. I kind of want like a classic one. traditional style um, there's so many things that I like here that I can use for coffee oh, there's so much beautiful saucers cups I super like We're gonna be having okay, so the traditional upstairs. Turkish coffee. So here, they are more locals are with us now, and they're having some sisha. They didn't do a traditional one wherein they put it in the sand, and this is how the Turkish coffee is. The thing about Turkish coffee is after you drink it, sometimes people do um, Turkish fortune telling. It's a bit grainy. Actually, it's not a bit. It's really, it's, you can taste a grainy <coughs> feeling of the coffee. <coughs> it's not sweet. It's a little sandy. Even 100 We are at Cafe Hane and we are serving the most traditional um, Turkish coffee here in located at the Grand Bazaar. And it's really, really very tasty compared to the previous ones that my aunt and my mom tasted in the restaurant. Very, very good. Now we're on our way to Grand Mosque to check out how it is and just see the looks of the Grand Mosque. So let's go, guys. Very much the Misha. Unfortunately guys, the Blue Mosque is already closed. It's currently undergoing renovation. And you can only enter if you're gonna be praying. So we just got castanhas. It's one of our favorite ones here whenever we're traveling to Europe. We're also gonna be having our dinner. So I'm enjoying my whole stay here in Turkey because everything that we've ate so far all were locally made here. So here at behind, everything from their olives to their chili sauce, everything are just really locally um, produced. This trip is really, really nice and I really, really enjoyed this because everything we ate so far were all very, very local here. So yeah. <laughs> 